Right, a question on SHM from edXLM3, January 2010, question 2. Here's the question. Have a read. So for this question on SHM, you're going to need to know some of the standard formulae. And the first thing you're going to need to know as you read through the question, you're going to have to recall T equals 2 pi over omega because you're told the time period. The time period is 2.4. So that's going to allow us to find omega. Uh, well, I might as well do that now then. So omega is 2 pi over 2.4. Or 5 pi over 6. The other thing you're told is when t is naught, p is at the center. Now, that means you can call up the expression for displacement relevant to this situation, where it's starting from the center of oscillation, and that form is x equals a sine omega t. So it's x equals a, we don't know the amplitude yet, sine of 5 pi over 6 t. That's the expression for displacement. They tell us one more thing. When t is 0 0.4, v is 4. Now, you've got an expression for v in terms of x in SHM, as v squared equals omega squared into a squared minus x squared, but that's no good here because they're telling you that b is 4 when t is 0.4. So what you have to do here to bring in v velocity in terms of time is differentiate the x expression you've got here to get v, which dx by dt. So v, differentiating sine to get cos, we get a times 5 pi over 6, check this carefully, cos 5 pi over 6 t. Now, we can use that because we know t is 0.4 gives v is 4. We can use that to find the amplitude. So, so let's put things in. Over on the side here, 4 equals 5 pi over 6 times a times cos of what will we have when t is 0.4 you get the cos of 2 pi over 6, in other words, pi over 3. So that gives us 4 equals 5 pi over 6a times a half. Just check these steps. And then rearranging that, we get the amplitude is 48 over 5 pi. Now that wasn't specifically asked for in the question, but we needed to find that because part A of the question asks us for the greatest speed of P. And this is another thing you need to recall now then, for the next page, Vmax equals A omega. So carrying on then onto the next page, to find the greatest speed and the magnitude of the greatest acceleration, there's not really much left to do. On this her screen here then Vmax equals a omega which gives 48 over 5 pi that was the value of a we just found times 5 pi over 6 and that tidies up to give 8 meters per second and the very last part the maximum value of the acceleration again you need to quote this omega squared a it's at the um, amplitudes, so again putting the values in, 5 pi over 6 squared times 48 over 5 pi, and that tidies up to give, uh, what does it tidy up to give, 40 pi over 6, or 20 pi over 3. We can leave it like that. That's it. So, where were the awarding marks? Let's just check that. We had, for the formula t equals 2 pi over omega, and for finding omega from that, we had an m1a1. 
for the formula, um, the equation x equals a sine omega t, we had an m1, and for differentiating, we had an m1. Uh, for putting the t equals 0.4 in and finding the, um, and using that to find a, we had, let me be, just be careful here, we've got, that's right, we got an a1 for that line, and we got an m1, a1 for here. Right, and that's the um, seven marks, well no, we're not quite there because the greatest speed is on the next page. Oh, the last day when I get uh, I had on the screen was actually for the um, this answer eight meters per second. So uh, that was the seven marks up to there. For the last part, the maximum acceleration is just two marks m one a one. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening. Here's a bit more information about the further maths support program. Thank you.